Hey Rob, why did the fly never land on a computer? I don't know. Because he was afraid of the World Wide Web? Hey everyone, Julia Wilde here for D News with Rob Nelson from Untamed Science. Rob is here with me today to talk about bugs. Right, so bugs, they creep, they crawl, they fly into our homes, but never really into our hearts. I mean, we try to kill them with newspapers and poison and those little swatter things. But bugs, are they really all that bad? There are a lot of bugs in your home right at this very moment, more than you think. At least 100 different kinds of bugs live with you in your home right now. Actually, the range is from 30 to over 200 individual species, and you can't really do anything about it. And while we think that bug spray helps, it doesn't really eliminate all the bugs. But don't fret, they're good guests to have in our homes. Right, some species like the fungus gnat feeds on fungus and decaying things like what's in your compost bin. And a host of other critters like spiders and ladybugs eat the more harmful bugs. A single spider can eat about 2,000 insects a year. So let's start with one of the most familiar critters, the fly. Every house is full of flies. There are more fly species associated with human homes than any other group of animals. And there's a lot of different type of flies. There are 150,000 known species, making them a tenth of the animals we know about in the world. Common ones include the house fly, which does it doesn't bite, but it actually throws up on its food to break it down, then soaks it up like a sponge to eat it. Gross. And it could carry over a hundred disease-causing pathogens. Also gross. Also gross. Speaking of throwing up, Califora vomitoria, known as the carrion fly, can be in your house too. The larvae of these flies feed off of carrion dead animals. There's also fruit flies or vinegar flies. They're the tiny flies you find buzzing around your bananas. These flies, Drosophila melanogaster, are a scientist's favorite for studying things like genetics. Another common household bug is the carpet beagle. Now I've been on a lot of different collecting trips and every single house had one of these in them. Even those that had regular pesticide treatments. The adults aren't so much of a problem, but the larvae are voracious and the real pests. Adult beetles usually lay their eggs in air ducts, in closets, under furniture, or under baseboards. Once hatched and until they pupate into adults, the larvae hide in dark, undisturbed areas and feed on organic material. And they actually look like these little woolly puff balls, and the larvae are responsible for the damage of all sorts of your stuff, like furniture, clothing, blankets, fur, carpets, and the collections of specimens, especially insects, are also vulnerable to attack, making them common pests in museums. Another pesky critter crawling around your house right now, lice. Everyone has lice in their homes. But we're talking about book lice. They resemble head lice, but actually feed on fungi and mold. If you find them in grain or other stored food products, it's an indication of high humidity, which encourages mold growth. Yeah, so not good. But besides food, book lice can be found under wallpaper, in furniture, along the sides of windows, or on windowsills, and around potted plants. Book lice do not bite, transmit disease, or damage food or fabric, but they can be very annoying when present in large numbers. They can also damage some of your old books, which is such a travesty. You'd think that the bugs in our home would be the things we know most about, but the truth is we don't know a lot about the bugs living all around us every single day. In fact, we found over 10,000 species of bugs in only 50 houses so far, and most of them we couldn't identify exactly. There are over a million known species of insects, way too many for a single specialist to know. There are likely undiscovered species in our houses. We just have to stop and pay attention to learn all about these cool critters. Which is exactly what the project I'm part of is doing. We're going to all seven continents to look at the bugs in those homes and try to figure out how people live with them in those different places. In fact, the first one is here in San Francisco, which we took Julia to. So if you want to watch that video, check it out right here. I'm working really hard to get over my fear of spiders, so I'm trying to like come into contact with spiders as much as possible, and, like instead of immediately squashing them with newspaper. Spiders are great in houses because they've already collected a lot of the arthropod diversity in a house. All right, guys, got any questions bugging you? Let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to D News so you don't miss a single episode. And check out Rob on other places on the internet. Like untamedscience.com or we have a YouTube channel, Untamed Science.